What's up guys, Pog here and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll be reviewing this 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now, special thanks to Mori Chrysler for allowing me to come down and film their Jeep Wrangler. If you are in the market looking for a vehicle, I will have their link in the description so you guys can check out their inventory. This Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon is in the Sarge Green exterior. It also has the one-touch power top. On the fender, you'll find the daytime running lights as well as the indicator lights, Jeep Performance LED, the seven-slotted grille, two tow hooks in red on the bumper, fog lights on the bumper, 17-inch wheels wrapped around BF Goodrich, all-terrain KO2 tires, 285-70-R17 has a nice little Jeep on the wheel Rubicon badging on the hood very nice looking hood the antenna Jeep Wrangler Unlimited there's the passenger side mirror Having the key fob in your pocket, you have the keyless entry. Pushing that will lock the doors. Putting my hand behind the handle will unlock it. There's also a keyhole. Closer look at the tail light. It is sticking out here which goes really nice with the fenders. On the spare tire, you can find the backup camera, as well as a full spare, which is again, BF Goodrich, all terrain KO2s, 285, 70R17. Rear wiper is behind the third brake light. Also the washer right there. The license plate holder, on the bumper, the license plate light, there's a tow hook. Here's a closer look at the red shocks, as well as the exhaust. Fuel door is very high quality, also says fuel right there. There's the fuel cap. You can find the keyless entry on the driver's door. And the keyhole over there in case your fault battery runs out, driver's side mirror, trail rated 4x4, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, Rubicon badging, really like the hood, windshield washers over here, and then this is where the windshield will rest on whenever you fold it. Under the hood, you can find the two liter four cylinder engine with the eight speed automatic transmission. Here's the cargo door and you can see over here, we do have keyless entry on it as well. Pushing this will lock it. A few seconds later, grab the handle, it'll unlock. There's the door panel, so it says Jeep trail rail ready got the water fording over here looks like a cup holder right here on the door body color in here as well twelve volt outlet Underneath here, some storage space, as well as the jack and a spot to put all of the bolts. So if you take your doors off, you'll put the bolts right there. If you take the roof off over here, as well as if you pull the windshield, so you won't end up losing it. Tie downs over here, Alpine audio system. It does sound really good. Good amount of storage space. And if this isn't enough, you can fold the rear seats and get more. 
move the stuff to the front so I can show you. Pulling this falls the headrest and then you can fold the seat the rest of the way. On the rear door, you can find your grab handle, soft touch over here, some net pockets behind the driver's seat as well as the passenger. Here's the amount of space you can have if you fold one of the rear seats. And this is the amount of storage space you can have when you fold all the rear seats. On the ceiling, there's the two speakers, as well as the reading lights and the cargo light. And there's the power top. Rear vents. Two USB ports, two USB-C ports. Window controls for the rear. Power outlet, as well as the two cup holders. I'll move this to the back. This is the tool that you will need to remove the roof, fold the windshield, remove the doors. It comes with it. On the driver door, there is the mirror controls, lock and unlock, which shows a lock over here. Soft touch over here. Door pockets, grab handle, headlight controls as well as the fog lights, dimmer switch, interior lighting, turn signal, the high beams, here's the steering wheel, cruise control on the right, left side to control the center screen, as well as the hang up, answer and talk to the car to make some changes. There's the dash of a sunglass holder, looks like in the middle. On the sun visor, home link, the controls to open up the power top, SOS assist. There's the mirror, which is illuminated. The steering wheel is manually adjustable, down and up, as well as will telescope forward and back. There's the pedals. The driver's seat says Rubicon. It is a really high quality cloth seat. Seat adjustments. In the center, there's the center console, which has two storage compartments. There's a USB port. Two cup holders, a place to put the key. Parking brake. Rubicon, I like that little Jeep that goes over there. Clear view mirror, very good visibility. Let's try the power top. That's what that looks like when it's open. Really nice actually. And there will be one touch to close. There's the passenger door. Soft touch over here. Some storage space on the door. Unlock as well as lock. You can see all of the doors show the lock when it's locked. Definitely like that feature. Wrangler on the grab handle. Lockable glove box. There's the vents, the 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen, wiper controls, 
for the rear and the front of course and using this again we can control the center screen here to see some information you can also customize it so if you want to have let's say on the upper left you want to see your outside temperature time range to empty average economy current economy trip a distance trip b distance none or the compass you can do so you can also adjust it to the right you can make it to default you can see the current gear so if you want to see which gear you're on so if i put it in drive you'll see we're on first gear but if i turn that off it will just show drive odometer you can hide or show whichever you prefer favorites menu so you get to choose which ones you want to see all the time gear display you can just show single so whenever you put on drive it will just show D There's the center, so you can put this to be your audio example, or you can put your trip A, current economy, compass. There's the time, if you want to see the time. Speedometer, the digital one vehicle information now something really cool about fca vehicles you can go over here to settings units custom and then you select here exactly what you want to see so we can go psi for that and then now we can see the tire pressure in psi and the rest of the other things the way that's selected there you can see your coolant temperature transmission temperature oil temperature oil pressure oil life, battery voltage, all the nice information that you would need. Here's the off-road, so there's the drivetrain, pitch and roll. Lots of information that you would like to see. You'll find it right here. There's a cruise control pushing this, shows it right there. Set, we have cancel as well as resume. Underneath the touch screen, there's the volume knob as well as the power. Front and rear defroster, button for the heated steering wheel as well as the heated seats for the driver as well as the passenger. You can find them also over here on the touch screen. Temperature controls, the fan control automatic. There's the mode and the recirculation AC. Screen off, touching the screen will turn it on. The hazard button, mute traction control off auto start off there's also the select speed in order to enter we have to shift to four wheel drive low 12 volt outlet now the power windows are one touch down but to close them you have to hold them same for the passenger you have to hold it the rear ones are not fully automatic down or up. Media ports, auxiliary, USB-C, as well as USB. Axle lock for the front and rear, as well as the rear only. The off button, off-road plus, as well as the sway bar disconnect. Some storage space over here. Shifting to reverse. You can see the backup camera will activate, very nice quality. Turning the steering wheel, the guidance lines will also turn with it. Neutral as well as drive. Shifting to the left, we can go for manual shifting. Lever here for the four wheel drive system. You have two high, four high, neutral as well as four low. Underneath the parking brake, there's some storage. On the touch screen, there's the media. So AM, FM, Cyrus XM, source select. Bluetooth, USB 1, USB 2, as well as the auxiliary. Going here for the climate, we can make the adjustments using this or using the touch screen here. 
mode. There's a sink, front and rear defroster. Here in the controls, we already seen this, but you can go to settings or access the backup camera. Navigation system, view map, full screen also is an option. You can go to VAR2, point of interest, home or work, whatever address you put in there. There's also the phone. You can pair your phone for Bluetooth access. Settings, you can use this to scroll and then push to enter, or you can just use the touch screen. Going over here to the apps, you have your other apps. So let's say you wanna have your backup camera easily accessible, you can touch and hold, and then move this over here to the controls. If you have changed your mind, you can go over here, touch and hold on the controls, and then put it back here. This being a Rubicon, there's also the off-road pages. So once this loads, you will see many more options. It's really cool how that Jeep always just goes over there. It's really cool. But yeah, so off-road pages, you can see your uh, transfer case, what setting you're in. And then you can see your sway bar, all that information. Then you have your accessory gauges, as well as pitch and roll. This Wrangler also has Apple CarPlay. So you can just plug it in right here and then allow it and there we have it we have apple carplay available now this phone is pretty much just set up so there's like nothing in it however you do have your apps so if you had apps that supports apple carplay you would see them right over here you can go to settings you can go to wallpaper change that to whichever one you prefer that's really nice i think it goes really Nice with the dash trim. Now pressing OK on this steering wheel, you can actually switch to miles per hour and then you can switch to kilometers per hour. It's a very nice feature. Definitely really like how it's showing all of the individual numbers when I'm accelerating as well as slowing down. Most cars just skip the numbers. Set temperature to 21 degrees. Setting temperature to 21 degrees. as well 
let's resume. The ride is really comfortable, it's smooth. are nice. sitting really high off the ground so you have a really good visibility over the other cars not too much body roll snowing in Alberta right now so we're pretty used to it some of you guys might not be but we do have those all-terrain tires so we should be good I would love to open up the soft top uh, but maybe for the summertime I would not want to open it up right now If you guys are in the market for a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and you are in the area, come say hi to Murray Chrysler and take it for a test drive. And again, thanks to them for allowing me to come down and film their Jeep Wrangler. Wish I could open up the soft top and then do the test drive that way, but we are having a snow right now, so uh, we can't do that, but hopefully in the summer we can come down and do another test drive and have the soft top open. Most likely a different Wrangler because this is probably going to be selling before that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.